Hello, this is Hannah from Serif and today I'm going to show you how to produce a tilt shift photograph. Uh, tilt shift photography has become quite popular recently and um, it's a really cool effect which gives it a, a miniaturization effect of your photo by applying a very shallow depth of field so that only a small area is in focus. Now producing this in camera can be quite expensive because the equipment that you need can cost a lot of money and it's a very technical procedure, uh, quite difficult, but I'm going to show you a way to produce the look in Photo Plus post-production. So I'm going to start with the colours and contrast of the image first. With tilt shift photos, um, the most common thing is to have quite saturated colours. So I'm just going to click up here on the adjustments panel and click on brightness and contrast. I'm going to slide the contrast slider up, more or less max max it out so that the colours are quite rich and slide brightness up just a tad as well and once I'm happy with that I'm gonna select both layers using the shift key right click and merge all layers okay so once I've done that I'm gonna right click again and duplicate the layer I'm gonna name that tilt shift as there we go. Okay, so I'm now going to convert that layer to a filter layer. Convert to filter layer up here. And that's done that for me. Okay, with that layer selected, we need to go up here to the top of the UI and click on effects. Go down to blur and Gaussian blur. That'll bring up this window which allows us to select the radius of the blur that we'd like to apply and I'm going to set that on 20 and click OK. So what we need to do is create a layer mask. So if we go up to the layers, go down, whoops, go down to mask, add mask and hide all. And that's hidden all of the blurring at the moment. So we need to reveal parts of that mask so that we can see the blurring. The opacity is set at 100%, that's fine, I'm going to keep it there so you can see what we're doing. You come over here to the paintbrush tool, select that, and the attributes of the brush will appear up here as usual. Um, and the size of that brush I'm just going to bring up even more to about 850. And with tilt shift photography, what we only want a, a small area of this photograph to be in focus. So I'm going to brush over the areas and as you can see as I do that it removes the mask and reveals the Gaussian blur that we applied earlier. I'm just going to paint all up here on the sky and around here. I'm just going to leave these smaller areas down here in focus. blur this area out here. I'm going to leave some of the water in focus I think. A bit of that. There. So now we just have this this middle section in focus and it sort of gives it a, a model railway type look. Uh, so it would be really great if you could get a picture of um, some trains or something like that and do do a similar thing. It has a great effect if you have people in the photo, very small, far away people. Um, but I think it's a, a really interesting technique and is just as good as producing tilt shift photography in camera. Now, if you didn't follow those steps as easily, um, if you go over to the how to tab here and go down to adjustment studios, and the makeover studio, smoothing skin, this first method here, Gaussian blur and paintbrush, is exactly what we've just applied to our photo. So although this is for smoothing skin and for portraits, you can actually use this, I'll just click into it for you, create a duplicate layer, tells you how to do it, says that they can do it for you, 
apply a Gaussian blur. So it's exactly the same steps as we've just taken. So if you're stuck, there's always the how to tab that will do it for you. And there we have it, Tiltshift Photography. Have a go yourself, it's great fun and you can produce some really outstanding images. Good luck. Thanks for watching.